the racing world, and I do mean world, lost one of its greatest ambassadors this week, our friend and colleague, Larry Rice. If a man can be judged by disposition alone, Larry would have been a world champion many times over. He was a kind and confident man who loved the sport of racing and the extended family that comes along with it. His most heralded accomplishment at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway came in 1978 when he shared Rookie of the Year honors with Rick Mears. On his journey there, he was a three-time national USAC champion in midget and silver crown cars. After his time behind the wheel, he found broadcasting, and a star was born on the ESPN Thunder Series, where many of today's biggest racing stars cut their teeth. That was a little Tommy tip over there. That is race car driving. That was not a Tommy tip over. That was a pretty good flip. Slip and slide, dip and dive. Look out, boys. We're going to have a race. Let's climb on board and go for a ride with Jeff and see if this is enough to get Gare and Lair excited. Oh, oh no. Together. Oh, look at the end car camera. Oh, and he keeps his foot in it. He keeps the right still on the throttle. I think he got the position, he too. He got the position. He got second place while he was there. Now, those are the type of flashbacks I don't want to see. You know? <laughs> I, I still got to ask you, why didn't you get out of the throttle? This is the tightest bunch field in the history of the Indianapolis 500. That's going to be great for the spectators, but what about the drivers, Larry? Well, it's going to make passing critical. You have to plan a pass well before you get there. From humble beginnings to the big show at Indianapolis to the worldwide airwaves, this fierce competitor who never sought the limelight had an incredible impact on all of our lives. Larry, well done, my friend. Well done.